Okay, we'll start this part by fitting some of the vinyl tubing. So on this part we've got two lengths here for the rear brake and another one that actually attaches to the brake caliper itself. By the time it gets there, the measured out on here, I'll give you the measurement, which is uh, 25 millimeters for A, which will run to the back of the uh, front of the spring arm. Um, C comes out the back as if it's a continuous sheet, that's 30, that'll loop around underneath, and a short one from the piston at the back of the uh, brake lever up to the brake reservoir. So very simply, get the balance tubing, lay it on, the mark, and then I'll zoom in so you can see. So again, light on. And if you can get me here, uh, it's all going very smoothly. Again, light on. And then just cut off. First length, so that's A. Let's say A runs okay, runs from the bottom of here into there. This runs from base of the reservoir to the top of the brake pedal. squashed. Let's be more play on that. There we go, that's all the way down. Let's turn the kink out of it. <coughs> OK. 
Okay, so that's two on. And the last one. So that's the first thing you're tripping on. Over that. So, I'll lift that part there. What I think I'll do next is rather than doing the front forks, is I'll do the rear tire. Let's do the rear tire so that sort of finishes off the back. Paint the front one as well, because um, I'm not going to do both at the same time on there, but uh, I'll go back once I've done this and do the forks. So I'm basically going to do then do the front all in one go. And uh, I think I'll make this as well the uh, tyre stand, uh, bike stand, racing stand on there. So uh, I'll do that next so I can finish off the back with the racing stand front uh, rim at the same time but then we'll go back to that okay so that's what we'll move on to do see you in the next bit okay so uh, what I'm doing now is drilling holes in the front disc brake and um, use the 0.7 needle I think it is yeah 0.7 needle and this is what we're doing is drilling holes with a little uh, do it so a bit time consuming but uh, just has that little bit of uh, extra interest for the eye and it's only about this size it's good to have a little, little bit of extra detail in there I think as I said earlier or in the other part um, you can get detail sets for these where you build up the discs and have the separate bits um, but something as simple as drilling these out still has uh, detail so this is what I'm doing as so I did the uh, if you can find it, come on, find it the rear disc brake it's not on the back of the one because basically it falls off all the time be held in when the back tire black wheel goes on and gets screwed in. So once I've done drill these bits out, uh, what I do is then file it front and back, just to get rid of any little rough edges, and also gives the uh, the disc a bit of a, a worn feel rather than being pristine, because um, obviously where the uh, calipers of brakes have been applied on the bike. Then what we're going to do is um, drill out these parts because uh, in the can't find it. 
Oh, it disappears when you're looking for it. There we go. Got these tiny little parts which go. In there like that. Again, just a little bit of a extra detail on there. So uh, I've still got the other one to do. So once I've drilled both of the uh, discs, breaks out, um, which won't be in this bit. Uh, it'll be later on. Uh, I'll drill those out, and uh, we'll have fun putting these tiny little bits in. Okay, so that's something for the future. So I'll continue drilling holes. But it's okay, I'll stop the uh, clip here and then we'll come back once I've done both of them and we'll see how we get on. But uh, in the next section on this we'll be doing the rear wheel which I've primed up on there. So uh, it says in the instructions do this in semi-gloss, which I think I probably will do, but I'm sort of tempted to do it in the uh, X1, the uh, gloss black, just for a bit of extra shine. Anyway, we'll have to think about that. And then we've got a decal to put around the rim with a red line on there, and then we can put the uh, the tyre on. What I've done with the tyre, um, it's come off a bit mucky, okay. is basically give it a rub down with fairly coarse sander. It does have a, a seam on it, but uh, I've tried to give it a good rub. And all it seems to do is when you give it a rub, it's make a groove. So I've sort of roughed up the ear surface of the wheel so it looks like again it's been driving around a bit. Um, all you do is either choose the course or the uh, smooth the side and just take the shine off. Again, I don't like a, a pristine new wheel. I say it still has a little bit of a, a seam, but it, uh, it doesn't seem I want to come off. Um, so once I've done that, that will go on. Then I can put it on the back of the bike. So anyway, back to drilling holes. See you in the next bit. Okay, so we've uh, done the power wheel. Uh, I've done the, the rim in the semi-gloss black and put the decal around uh, with the brand name on there. Uh, I didn't show this because basically it took forever. Uh, basically it's in three parts. One, two, three. And it sits down into a little groove on there. So what's hard about that, but basically it took me uh, lots of set. And then looks about crystal, and eventually it went down on there. So basically screwed in there with little grubs in the middle. Still got the name plate to put on here, so I'll do that in a sec. Um, but that goes around, which is pretty cool. There you go, and obviously just noticed I need to put a little bit of. Uh, Silver on the uh, inflator valve. Okay, so that's uh, the rear wheel. That's done on the, uh, the, the stand as well. Uh, which basically it's three pieces, one side, cross bit, across the middle, that make up the top. Spread it red, and stuck the decal on. And the bit that goes in the back wheel there, just uh, again semi gloss black. So I say, just go on little decal to put on there, um, and then we can move on doing to the, uh, the front forks, which are made up of a little bit of brass parts, and a little bit of pieces of these with the top of the uh, handlebars. So those two, the silver and the blue, the black, like a form a seal around the bottom. Again, some more gravity things. And the bottom of the forks. It's a bit more detail than the the middle part. And again, detail parts for the top of the handlebars. So 
and this is your destruction seat. So that shows how to fit the uh, these tiny little parts onto the uh, front brakes, which I've now drilled everything out. It's 78 holes on each one to drill that, not including the uh, larger ones as well. So that shows you how to do the uh, fit those. So you drill it out, pop it in, similar to that. And this shows what, how the uh, front focus are made. So you paint these parts up with the decals on, and the grommets on the top of the uh, part, and build them up from there. And then they hold on together with the model parts, and the top of the handlebars all go in there, and then with the big screw. So we'll, uh, we'll work through those in a, a little bit. So what I'll do, I'll finish the uh, little transfer down there, and then we'll move on to uh, painting up bits and pieces for the front forks. And then we'll have something that looks a bit more like a bike. Um, the other thing, which I'll show you, is my colour from Fender. Um, which I did say at the beginning I might do in carbon fibre. Give that. I'll give it a go. If it works, I'll show you. If it doesn't, it didn't happen. So anyway, that's where we are now. So we'll move on uh, in a minute or two and uh, get something done with the uh, front forks. See you in a minute. Okay. So what we'll do now is make up the uh, front forks. So there you've got the uh, detail of parts. There's the uh, little forks. A bit more detail on the uh, bit of the bottom where the brake calipers fit on here and the wheels. Through that bit. So, what we need to do first is uh, this part here that goes pointing forwards, so the brake calipers at the back. So, uh, we're going to make the uh, left hand side one. So this one, so that's the front, this is the back. And what we do is pull a cap on the top of there. And these little brass rings here that go over and go all the way down. And then apply a washer. This is the one that comes with the model. And that's the detailed one. See, not a huge amount of difference at the bottom, but the uh, with the metal effect and everything, it looks uh, so much better. So we get tangled up in wires. Also, what I've done is painted up these little brackets, so they got little nuts painted up. And also, what I've done in the groove. Because on the, uh, the main back you can actually see the uh, metal through. Just painted it with a uh, gold leaf colour on there, which is yeah, X12. So that's on the bag. Looks like I can see through it. So what I'll do is I'll make up the other one and uh, if you pick it up, fit it to the bag. We got the front forks, so they fit on like that. Okay, so I want to put that together a bit uh, more. We'll come back and have a look. Okay, so we'll look at the uh, top of the handlebars. So I've smoothed those up. Most of it's in the uh, titanium silver. But the fluid bottle has got semi gloss tops and white bottoms. On there, so what we need to do now is 
put the detail parts into the top. So we have silver ring, a little bit of detail on the top of there, and get that around so you can see a bit more. There's a blue knot on there. Stick it up in the middle is a black hockey thing. So we've got to see a little at the top there. So we shouldn't have to need an awful lot. So this side first. Start off with the silver one, and a blue one, and then a black one, with this pointing forwards. Same on the other side. Yep. So again, silver first. Blue. And the black one pointing forwards. Both points are forwards. Let's go down a little bit further. There we go. Pointing forwards, okay then. So we'll leave that to dry. And we'll come back and see uh, if I put any things together. Okay, so what we'll do now is fit the uh, front folds to the back. So first of all, we need to fit the steering damper. So we need a little screw. fits in on there.
Okay, so that's that. And we've got <coughs> excuse me. Fun folks. from the bottom. Right down from the top. Everything up. So these bump bits move around a bit so you can straighten them up if they're not right when it comes to fit the front wheel. There we go. See the gold leaf parts, not exact match, but it's. Uh, Gives the idea that you can see through. On there. There we go. Yeah, a bit more like a bike. Um, so what we're working on next is the. brakes. So what I did basically painted, primed this and painted the middle bit in a semi-gloss like it is but then I realised I hadn't done anything with the, uh, for the holes for these tiny little uh, detail parts to go in. So I think what I'll do this is, I think I'll prime it up again because I've had to file off little bits and pieces both sides and then Paint it up again, and then we'll fit the uh, the detail parts to that. So uh, do that in the next bit, and then I can do front wheel once again to sort out the tyre. Do the decal around the red line decal around both sides. So still a bit of work to do before uh, we can get the front wheel on for the forks around. And they look pretty cool. Okay, just one of them in between things. So that's the uh, front wheel decal. Again, it's lots and lots of soaking and gentle encouragement to eventually go down. <coughs> what we've done is the uh, wheels for the bike stand. So to keep them clear. What I was basically painted the middle bit, bit of primer, bit of semi gloss, bit of chrome in the middle, and they need a little bit of tidying up. So, what I do is get a cocktail stick and uh, give those a gentle scrape, and that'll tidy those up a bit, and then we'll stick those on uh, the bike stand, and that'll be uh, that done. So, uh, Continue with this, as I say, it uh, takes a lot of uh, encouragement for it to sit down. 
So we'll now keep working on that and then we uh, do the same on the other side. So it sort of splits it down in this groove. Of course it's slightly wider than that so it uh, has to encourage to get in there. That's a better groove than there was on the back wheel. So anyway, we'll be back once we're doing something else. Okay, see you in the next bit. Okay, so we're ready to uh, fit the front wheel. So we've got the uh, decals nicely down on both sides. So it took a lot of uh, micro set and micro to get it to, to sit down and a bit of jabbing with the pin. But anyway, it's down there. And again, scuff the wheels up a bit, tie her up a bit. And the bottom one, the seam didn't want to go. So anyway, it's not a very big seam, so we should be right with that. So I've done the brakes. There's the uh, detail parts. Just see, I glued those in. And these fit on the wheel. So this one has one flat side. It matches up with the side of the wheel. And this side, it's two flat sides. Okay, and there's a little arrow on there, so that goes forward, so it goes in. So it's the front of the bike. It's got a big screw. So I threaten it goes one side because there's no hole on that side. And we'll tighten up. There we go, both wheels on there. Mostly semi gloss black, a bit of metallic grey, rubber black on there, and titanium silver on the two ends there. Sorry, got the wire there from your microphone. And that's the other one. Again, the same. And we've done the brake calipers. So all I need to do in that is uh, pick those out. So I can try and pick them out in red paint. If that doesn't work, I'll set the decal on. Nice wobbly camera there. And uh, the front mod guard. So what I'm going to try and do is make a template out of masking tape on that and see if we can get some uh, carbon fibre on that. So we'll give that a go in a bit. Uh, but for now, that's the uh, front and rear wheels on. So we go around. So here we go. So still quite a long way to go. So what we'll do is I'll work on the uh, mud guard and the uh, brakes, and we'll get them fitted in the next bit. And then we'll uh, 
see what next, the next thing we need to do. In fact, we do that now. So, brake calipers on, the handlebars on, and the front dash, and then a bit more tubing. So, after we've done that as well, body parts and seats and things. So, we'll uh, see how we get on with that. Okay, see you in the next bit. Okay, so this is where we're up to uh, so far. So I've put the uh, handles on the crossbar and I've done front book guard on there. I've done uh, some carbon fiber on it. Uh, I didn't feel mad to do that because uh, basically it took quite a while and lots of fiddly faffing bits. So but basically what I did Got a template for one side because it's done in two halves. Because you tried to do it all the way over, it didn't it? It wouldn't lie very flat. So that's for the uh, right hand side. Did another one for the left. And then we used scale motorboats, carbon fiber. So you can see, cut out one, got it wrong. It again for the little bit, so uh, as I say, it was a bit of faffing, but it's turned out okay. It's a bit less smooth, this, but it's uh, what I can do. I think it's the first time I've, uh, I've done that with uh, just a custom made uh, template. Um, so uh, I put the uh, brake calipers on at the front as well. Um, the Bromby, Brombo, whatever it is, uh, just picked out in uh, red with a fine brush. Again, if you look close, it's not the best, but it's at a distance, it looks good. So, the last bit I've got to do is uh, put a decal on for the uh, instruments and fit that to the front, and then we'll do some uh, tubing. So, I'll get that fitted. Um, I guess it's straightforward to decal on there, so I want to film that for you. Um, we basically it micro set first and then micro to get it side down same as usual so we'll do that once we've got that fitted and we'll do the uh, brake uh, cables and think for the front okay see you in the next bit okay so this is where we're up to so far for the bike so to the front tube in on there uh, the brakes are on. So pin to the, uh, the lettering on here. It's come out quite well. Did try filming the uh, putting the tubing on, uh, but it was far too fiddly, and those of all my fingers were in the way. And the carbon fibre on the uh, front mud guard looks good. There we go. So we'll leave that part there and uh, move on to doing uh, other parts uh, for the bits. So we've got some side panels here with a uh, bit of info. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, some side parts here and then the seat part with the rear lights on goes on and then it's on to uh, fuel tank and fairings and things. So we'll, uh, as I say, we'll leave this part here and uh, we'll come back with those in the next bit.